Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. And this is the uh, April new moon in Taurus. And I'm shuffling up the cards. Again, this is a six card spread uh, from uh, Biddy Tarot, uh, where I got my training into reading tarot cards. And um, with the new moon in Taurus, you have a chance to become conscious about creating peaceful and pleasurable experiences in your life. Um, use the energy from these cards to develop the empowering new habits. Um, this is going to look at how to embody the peace and tranquility in your life. What does uh, nature have to teach me at this time, the earth energy? How can you savor the simple pleasures? Um, what new empowering habits can you introduce in the coming days? And uh, what activities will help ground yourself, ground your physical self? And what is the highest intention for my inner contentment? Okay, so the cards are all shuffled. And let's start drawing them out. So how can how can we embody the peace and tranquility in life? That comes up with the hooded man. What does nature have to teach me at this time for this new moon in, in Taurus? What does the card comes out as the king of bows and adder? Uh, how can you savor the simple pleasures in life? How can you savor the simple pleasures in life for this new moon in Taurus? How can you savor the simple pleasures in life in this new moon in Taurus? And it comes out another life lessons card, the stag. What new empowering habits can I introduce into my days? What new and empowering habits can I introduce into my days? And it comes up as the four of arrows, rest. What activities will help me become more grounded in my physical stuff? What activities will help me become more grounded in my physical self? For this new moon in Taurus, what activities will help me become more grounded in my physical self? What activities will help me become more grounded in my physical self during this new moon in Taurus? The Blasted Oak. Another Life Lessons card. What is my highest intention for my inner contentment? What is my highest intention for my inner contentment during this new moon in Taurus in the next couple weeks when this new moon is, is passed on? What is the highest intention for my inner commitment or inner contentment, I should say? And the card that comes up is, again, another court card. So only one pit card, three, three uh, major arcana cards, and then I got two court cards. So there we have the cards laid out. Um, let's go through and, and describe everything. So how can I embody peace and tranquility in my life? That's the hooded man. And the hooded man wants you to uh, look within. It's a life lessons card to, um, you know, take perspective of what's happening uh, within yourself during this new moon. Um, you know, look within to get that peace, that tranquility that's going on in your life. And have that transfer into your everyday activities. Um, you know, it's a great time for self re self reflection. Um, you know, especially during this this new moon, to take the opportunity to uh, become conscious about creating that peaceful and pleasurable experience. You know, to gain that peace and tranquility. That's that's how you can embody that peace and tranquility in your life with this hooded man. The King of Bows, the Adder. What does nature have to teach me at this time? A king of bows, um, again, like the way I explained the court cards, uh, bows are all about air, uh, fire sign, to create creativity. Okay, the adder being that king um, wants you to take charge. He's going to, you know, look for somebody that's in your life that wants to give you that, to take charge of, you know, how does that nature, or what does nature have to teach you at this time? This is very uh, fire, creativity, and energy. Um, so take the opportunity to, to, to look within, you know, for that peace and tranquility, but find something that's really creative for you, okay? And maybe it's talking to somebody about, you know, the creativity of a project or, um, the creativity of, you know, making some landscape decisions at your home. Something that nature has to teach you at this time with, with this going forward. So how can you savor the simple pleasures in life? Again, it's that stag that comes up, a life lessons card. The simple pleasures in life uh, with the stag card is just to understand that uh, there is justice in the world. Um, there is strength, there is courage, and it's just listen to that... Uh, 
listen to that drum that that stag is beating and know that uh you know everything that is out there is is both man-made is both as environmentally made so you know whatever you've created okay over this this opportunity for this new moon through that king of bows and you know things that you've you know sat back and listened to within yourself you know that's how you can enjoy the simple pleasures in life is knowing that justice is going to be served and strength and and courage are going to be out there to make sure that things happen what new and empowering habits can you introduce in your days pretty self forward four of arrows rest the empowering habit of being able to come home from your job and just let it all go. Um, you know, I'm seeing reports now with this COVID stuff that, you know, if you want a peaceful and pleasurable experience, come home, leave all your clothes out in the garage or your shoes out in the garage, put your clothes in the in the laundry right away. You know, possibly, in the, you know, wash them, you know, to make sure there's, you know, nothing on them. And then, you know, take that shower and rest and relax. Those are the, the new empowering habits that you can introduce in the days going forward. And, and just, you know, take that opportunity to relax so, relax so you can have that peaceful and pleasurable experience in your, in your life. What activities will help you become more grounded in my physical self? Don't be attached. That's what that blasted oak is telling you. Don't be so secure um, in what's happening within the, you know, within the world, with, you know, with your finances. Because nothing, not, what, this is, what this is telling you is, you know, you, you may feel secure and most Tauruses will feel this during this new moon. You know, they'll feel like, you know, their whole world is, is shattering, okay? But look at what you do have, okay? This is meant, this blasted oak is meant for you to be more grounded in the earth, not in the things that you have around you, okay? It's breaking those bonds. As you can see, the bonds are broken, all right? The limb is shattered. He's no longer secured in the oak tree, okay? Their earth is cracked. He's going to end up getting hurt. She's going to end up getting hurt as they hit the ground, okay? But as a result of that, you're now free. You're free of everything that, that bound you to that oak tree. You're free of, you know, you know, being stagnant and not being able to move forward. As you're moving forward with your creativity to get that more peaceful and pleasurable experience in your life, Become more grounded in your physical self. Don't let those emotional attachments, don't let those, you know, those own chains that bind you, you know, to other things hold you back, okay? Take that opportunity to rest, relax, come up with a new plan, and not be so, you know, tied to and restricted to some of the old thinking. Think outside the box, you know, use, use what God's given you, that gray matter in between your ears, you know, to come up with new opportunities to, you know, re-image yourself, uh, you know, to, you know, give you that peaceful and pleasurable experiences in your life. You know, maybe it's a good time to retire right now. Maybe it's a good time to, you know, say to yourself, hey, I need to look at a different opportunity, you know, where I can be more creative. So, you know, look for those opportunities to give you more peace and pleasure in your life as you're going through. That's what this card is talking to you about. And then, the highest intention for your inner contentment is listening to that queen of bows, that hair. You know, so we've got both the king of bows and the king, queen of bows in this, in this aspect. And, um, you know, that queen, you know, she wants you to be out there, um, you know, ruling, ruling your castle. The king and the queen want you out there, you know, looking at the creativity, all right? Understanding, nurturing as well, looking within as well as looking out, you know, to try and help others, um, for that creativity that's your highest intention for that for your inner con contentment um is, is staying grounded within yourself and moving forward with that creativity to possibly reimage yourself um you know look at opportunities you know where you can you know be more creative to help you with that peaceful and pleasurable experience in your life you know maybe it's painting or pottery or you know um some creative aspect of song or dance or art you know, that maybe you've taken up during this time, you know, where, you know, you come home from work and you look forward to maybe, you know, reading a book or, you know, picking up that brush or, you know, molding that clay, you know, if you have the opportunity. You know, the biggest thing is, is to, you know, nurture that higher intention for your inner contentment as you're going forward. 
So that's Newman and Taurus, just to summarize everything that's going on. You know, um, the six card spread with the new moon coming up uh, here in a couple days. Um, it's looking at creating a peaceful and pleasurable experience in your life, um, using that energy to develop new habits or skills. So, you know, the first thing you want to do is embody the peace and tranquility in your life. That hooded man talks about that, looking for, you know, the, the inner reflection, the inner self, uh, to give you that peace and tranquility for that peaceful and pleasurable experience. Uh, being creative, listening to that king of bows and that adder, okay? Being creative in, you know, how to move forward, you know, looking at nature to, you know, give you that that peaceful and pleasurable experience. You know, like I said, you know, when I was talking about the card, maybe it's landscaping or maybe it's drawing a landscape, you know, creating a landscape, things on that nature where, you know, you can use that fire energy to create that pleasurable experience in your own yard, maybe a rock garden or a Zen garden, you know, maybe just a little playback box on your table that you can use, okay, to give you that, that peaceful and pleasurable experience. And, you know, that's kind of nature taking back to you saying, you know what, ground yourself during this Taurus time. How can you savor the simple pleasures in life? Uh, just know that there's justice out there. Just know that, you know, be courage, you know, have the courage to move forward for your simple pleasures. Don't sit back and, and not voice your concerns. Use your voice and in, in express what you want more in life for that simple pleasures in life. You know, they give you that peaceful and pleasurable experience. Maybe it's, you know, hey, I really enjoy working from home. I think I do a better job at it, you know, and use that, use your voice so you can, you know, uh, and savor that simple pleasure that you, you've come across. The empowering habits, you know, to that can introduce into your days coming forward is take time to rest. Take time to rest and soak in the sun and, you know, kind of relax and, you know, Maybe that, that ties in hand-in-hand in hand with that hooded man, you know, looking within. The activities that uh, help, you, help you become more grounded in your physical self is knowing that you're free. The bonds are broken from this blasted oak, this life lessons card that wants you to learn that, you know, as you continue walking on your path, this life lessons card is telling you, yes, your bonds are free. Don't hold on to this oak. Create new things so you can be, you know, Create new activities to help you become more grounded in yourself. You know, maybe you started some things over the last five or six weeks, um, you know, that can help you become more grounded as, you know, we get into this, you know, into this motion of, of um, you know, going back to work and getting our economy up, you know, okay, and creating that peaceful and pleasurable experience, not only in your in your home life, but in your work life as well. And then listen to that queen of, queen of bows for that hair to get, you know, set your highest intention for, for your inner contentment. You know, maybe go out there to the moon if you have the opportunity to do that and just hold your hands up. Hold your hands up and just ask that new moon, you know, here's my highest intention for my inner contentment. I want to create more. I want to create something that's um, that's going to have, you know, pleasure and, you know, bring peace to my life. You know, where I, I'm not stressed out like I was, you know, beforehand. And, um, you know, help me through this next couple of weeks during this new moon in Taurus to use this energy to help develop my my new my new habits and just you know ask the new moon ask the universe to help guide you along it that's what that queen of bows and of course you know look at that you know she's got the full moon behind her okay but yet at the same time um you know that queen of bows is is saying to yourself i want to help nurture you during this opportunity so this is d for the spirits path here's your new moon in taurus uh forecast so hit that like button share it with others subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you at the next full moon coming up in May. Take care, God bless, and stay safe.